Hello everyone, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We are still in the abandoned mine, and it is not as much as abandoned as the game think it is, because uh, we defeated some bandits in here, and other creatures like wolves as well. Maybe they came with the bandits. Yeah, we just have to go to continue. Um, I think this is the second area of the abandoned mine. It changed into a cavern. Let's see what the cavern holds for us next. A locked chest. Well, who says it's locked? And a small camp, which implies there is more people around. It's locked. And we have two locked pick lefts. Lefts? Two lock pick lefts? Alright, let's let's try this. I have the feeling it's getting a little bit better. And then again, this happens again. It stays a little bit of a trial and error. <clears throat> I'm not sure what my skill is. Oh, it's, it's actually saying 30. Um, it's a pretty decent skill. I should try an auto attempt more often. How, do I, how would I go about that right now? An average lock, maybe just easy or very easy lock. I could auto attempt by now. But it, um, if you fail, at least you will enhance your lockpicking skill. And after that you can just auto-attempt all the times you want. Especially when it's near 100. Yeah, alright. You gotta have lockpicks for that though. So that didn't work right now. I'm going to sneak. I'm not sure why. Maybe I should just walk. I guess some people uh, just walk because of role-playing sake. That would be kind of awful and awesome at the same time. It would last the game like if it's a 400-hour full play, 100% playthrough, then it would last 800 hours or something like it. Maybe three times as long. Anyway, I keep thinking I have followers with me, but this is not Skyrim. <laughs> There's no one backing me right now. We're all alone, against the odds. No, not really against the odds. The bandits seem pretty weak in here. As long as we're not encountering uh, one of those trolls, I should be quite all right. And there's a door. And more stuff here. We're getting into the abandoned area again. More chests. A weak potion of warmth. Resist frost. Oh, sure, bound boots. We will never use that, and it isn't worth much, so let's leave it. We'll take the gold, for sure. Wooden door. It's not a different section, but it's going deeper down. I hear some weird noises. Something's going on. No, you didn't hear anything. Uh, my heavy boots, they give me away a little bit. Maybe we, we should firstly do our um, torch away. And... No. <laughs> oh, is he or she invisible? Am I looking at an invisible person right now with my cursor? can play that game Guess yeah I see him all right you know what let's play around with my potions at least I think I have one of those feather no fortitude restore 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 fortify night eye not what I need right now fortune frost shield insight luck intelligence no we don't have any invisibility po potions. What about the poison? It drains personality. Alright, at least we see it. I think it's right on the money. Oh, where am I aiming at? I'm not sure. Let's let's just try and shoot and hope for the best. That's a miss. Oh, shit. Alright. A bandit ringleader. Oh, shit. He's a leader. 
we should actually use our um, where is it my key protect it gives us a better defense rate are we hitting it yes we are but he's hitting us as well I'm missing some sound effects here I'm just striking in thin air it seems gotta keep an eye on my health here let's uh I'm still looking around my uh, microphone for this after a while I will get used to it to the buttons uh, maybe we do use a poison potion am I striking it for him it sounds like a woman I think it's time for a healing potion a weak potion of healing should suffice for now. Doesn't heal me much, but maybe that's enough. Uh, maybe I should use a... Um, where is it? This is a, a touch... A, a touch skill magic. Oh shit, he's about to kill me. She is about to kill me. But I'm about to kill her. So let's just... Yeah, there we go. Now she's visible. There was somewhat of a tough fight. This is probably... Uh, this is a ringleader, so she must have been a leader. Are you a Dunmer? Chameleon Quiris. Ah. Three armor. I'll take it. It's worth a ton. Mithril boots. Mithril greaves. That's decent armor you got there. Light armor, at least. I'm sticking with the heavy, unless the, uh, and more maceil? Unless the light armor is better, has better armor ratings. I always like the, um, to have more than one armor set ready. Um, I guess that's a good thing to do. Maybe more in Oblivion than in Skyrim. Uh, because if we need to do some thieving, it's good to have. I'm trying to think about Morrowind and then Oblivion and then Skyrim. It has been dumbed down a little bit now that I think of it. Which isn't necessarily bad, but especially in Morrowind, you just couldn't do some Mage's Guild quests if you don't got the, what it takes. And Oblivion is somewhat like that and Skyrim not at all. Um, anyway, let's check that out. Chameleon Quiris, it does three armor versus... What am I currently using? I'm, I'm carrying a lot of crap around. We're using a steel quiris. Yeah, it's better. Um, but this thing is chameleon, so we gotta keep it, right? Um, we need the stealth now and then. So I'm definitely going to hold on to that and maybe use it later. Uh, we also got the mithril boots and greaves. Yeah, again, the steel ones have better armor ratings, so I, I guess I'll stick with those. Maybe I'll keep them. They don't weigh a lot, but still, it counts. Uh, this stuff is broken. We need to fix it. We can't repair um, enchanted items, I think. And the more Maesil, it's a blunt two-handed weapon. Yeah, it's interesting, but we're not going to use that. Um... It does sound cool. And now I just have to figure out what to drop. I could feather myself, but it would be useless. It would worn, uh, worn out, wear out, debaser. Uh, I guess we'll drop this. 410, 54, dang, yeah, we'll definitely drop this. There we go, now we can walk again. Good. Can we wait? After I'm done with this uh, dungeon, maybe we are done here. I will definitely repair my uh, weapons and armor. And that's the good thing about uh, Oblivion, uh, because you need to repair it. Um, it's 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 very wise to carry around more than one weapon with you. It's, it, that's not a thing in Skyrim. And it would be easy if you just fast travel around to a place where you can repair it. But... Um, yeah, it makes it more interesting that I'm not fast traveling here. 
gold. I'll leave the cheap wines. Yeah, it, it, I thought it had enhanced strength, but it doesn't. Fortitude. All restoring. Well, I'm very glad to find potions. Uh, well, we can't uh, do alchemy right now, so I'm uh, avoiding these items. It will only weigh me down. A bad roll for my friend who was just been killed. And that's it. Did I check this chest? Yeah, I, I think I did. I'm actually looking for another um, exit or something, but this seems to be like a dead end. But it's always good to check the minimap in this game. Yeah, it, it does seem like this. There's only this to this area. We killed the leader, so I think I think we're definitely done. So we just have to leave. Leave this cave and mine. Not sure why I was trying to sing there. The Elder Scrolls does that to me. Or maybe just Oblivion. It's actually the first Elder Scrolls game I played. Um, and I just couldn't handle the scope of it. I, I was baffled. I was used to playing Japanese RPGs and then this came along. Holy jeez, the freedom. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> probably the reason why I haven't ever finished this game before and started it like 10 times over in the past 10 years. The same applies with Skyrim and Morrowind, I never finished those. Hours upon hours I've played in them. One day though, maybe, but you know it's not like a, th a bucket list thing, I just want to enjoy these games. And uh, don't care a little bit about finishing, but it would be nice, at least to do some some factions, finish up some factions. But we'll see how it goes, right? It's all about wandering around, and most of the time I end up not doing the factions. I'll just do side quests and stumble upon mines like this one. Okay. Back to the Nimine Basin. And we can probably unequip our torch. It's night time, but. Uh, seven? Six? Seven. Alright. First, uh, I, I think I got plenty of repair hammers lying around in my uh, backpack, in your helmet. So uh, let's use one. Soul gems, those are all empty? No, there's one petty. Should we use one of those? Maybe. We don't need to. It could be, could be nice to restore the debaser or the blackwater blade. I think I used them in the past a lot. 150 points. And let's hold on to it for now. What am I using currently? The silver longsword, yeah. It isn't enchanted. We could use this one, but we're not going to do that. I think it, it, it heals us if we use it, or something like it. That's a good thing to know, by the way. If Varla Stone heals us, maybe. Maybe, when we're in real danger, at some point. 18 repair hammers, that'll do us good. All right, silver longsword. Let's repair that to 100. Your armor skill increased. That's the benefit. The helmet needs some rep preparation. Uh, yeah, let's do it fully right. Why not? And we'll leave the rest because we're not using that. Let's not waste repair hammers. All right, so we're good again. Hmm, I guess this time really Maroon's Razor, right? I think my arrow is still pointing there. Yeah. So we're actually doing something constructive. I'm doing DLC. I never did DLC before. So, uh, we'll do it. In the other playthroughs before this one, uh, years ago, I, I had like the intention to always 
finish the main content before starting a DLC. But yeah, that would take too long, you know. There's a wolf. Maybe we can avoid it. Or we should preemptively try to kill it. But no. Live and let live if we can, right? <laughs> the wolves will be at our side, maybe, at one moment. In Skyrim, being a werewolf. Is that it? That's it. Sundercliff Watch. I guess we need to do away with the wolf because it's uh, protecting this thing. I wonder if this uh, location was already there in vanilla. I think it had just been added, just blotted on the map, like I pointed here. We're very close to Morrowind, and I think I said that before. Now, where is that wolf? Could use my um, um, chameleon outfit, but not doing that for just a mere wolf. It would come in handy with more than one enemy, though. Or if we're not trying to be spotted. Okay, we're here, and I'm going to preemptively shoot the wolf. Try to, at least. Alright, we'll finish it off with... Uh, we'll finish it off with the sword? Good, alright. You cannot... No, I know. That was just a regular one. Almost killed it in one blow. Ooh, I love the vegetation that has been added by the overhaul. We found Sundercliff Watch. Kind of missing the sound effect in Skyrim. The wall is like a doo -doo -doo -doo. but not in here though. All right, so this might look a little bit different than vanilla because it has been added, and probably the developers crafted this uh, thoroughly. Like I said before, uh, this should be the biggest dungeon Oblivion has to offer. So I don't know. Maybe we'll be here in here like ten episodes. Maybe you never know. Which. Uh, Makes it five hours. A deer. We don't need the deer meat. You cannot go that way? Turn back. Oh, we are at the outskirts of the map. Interesting. Right. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. I guess this is the only way we can. Is this like the official entry? It doesn't seem like it, but... What is this? We have to look around. Maybe it, has, it contains special items like... Columbine, that was probably not special. Um, that's the entrance. Some mushrooms. Anything else around here? Let's just see if we can get on top of it or something before we try to head in. Lush vegetation all around. Because in... Um, Sometimes there are chests lying on top of these things. And if nothing else, it creates somewhat of a cool view. Can we? Yeah, we can get on top of it. It's a little bit high to drop over here, but we can certainly try. Yeah, we're good. <coughs> Love the music. All right. Time to enter Sundercliff Watch and find the lost city of Maroon's Razor somewhere underneath Tamriel. Cyrodiil. Well, it's part of Tamriel, so. Oh, shit. I actually missed that little message. It was part, part of something. Why didn't I read that? Habit of not to read it. I've entered Sundercliff Watch and can begin my search for Maroon's Razor. Well, that sounds promising. Unearthing. We need to unearth it. Ooh, a statue awaiting us. So again, um, this dungeon must be more special than the regular dungeons. And we already got company. Who's there? You're friendly? It might be friendly so there will be probably more uh, handiwork in this dungeon and uh, Hello? Who's that? 
Ooh, that sounded a little weird. I, th I take it he's foodstuffs. Foodstuffs. Fortify health. Yeah, I'll take that one. I'm not taking the meat, right? Nah. Alright. Let's just see what happens. Let's equip my uh, sword and shield. And we'll actually get to see if we can uh, tackle this. Because I'm saying we're going into Maroon's Razor. But if the enemies are too tough. It feels kind of cheap to actually turn the uh, difficulty mode down then. So I'd probably be returning then. That would be kind of a, a downer. But okay. Definitely not friends. A Droth Mary soldier? My strength has been damaged, but I think he's beatable. So at least... Oh shit, another one? A veteran. Oh, let's first take care of the soldier. Alright, alright. Maybe. Uh, let's protect myself a little bit. Alright, another one? Oh shit, there's a ghost as well. And he's using magic? Alright, 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 alright. Uh, let's heal up a little bit if we can. Oh, that does take a lot of uh, magicka. Alright, so... <clears throat> it's not like there's super special enemies uh, that are way tougher. Drathmiri is new though. It, it, I think they're Dunmer. We're close to Morrowind again, so... Did the ghost disappear? Because you summoned it, huh? That's what happened. Silver arrows. That's nice. And a steel bow. Do we want that steel bow? Probably not. Because we have a uh, way better bow. And... Iron boots. Steel greaves. Do we want the steel greaves? I don't think so, but... No, it's worth much though, but 21, no, 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 I'm not going to take it. Thank you. I'm over encumbered though. Hmm. We're using dwarven arrows because they're, they're not really better than silver. Um, maybe I should hold on to the Dwarven ones, because uh, they're worth more. Let's equip the Silver ones. And before we unload ourselves... <clears throat> the annoying thing is, when you're over encumbered in Oblivion, you can't even walk. Claim all of Jolts. Two-handed blade? No, not really, no. You keep holding on to that. Orcish Greaves, that's an improvement. Let's take that. And a steel helmet, I don't need. Potion of shock shield. Alright. Good. Fair enough. Now let's deal with that over encumbrance. First, we need to equip this. The... Uh, yeah, there's six opposed to four. Good. Alright, they, they are a little bit heavier though, which sucks. What else can we drop? <clears throat> I think we do have an active effect that's a little bit holding us back, or not? No, not really. Mm. Shall we throw the mithril away? I think we... I guess we, we can drop the Dwarven Bow. Um, it's like my reserve bow. My second bow. We can't repair this one. So that's why I'm a little bit hesitant to drop the Dwarven Bow. But dang. It weighs a little bit, huh? Alright, let's, let's take the chance. It doesn't get too... Uh, if it doesn't isn't damaged, it should be all right. 
And we can always grab another bow from another person at some point as a reserve bow. Um, there we go. Good. All right, now let's rest. So, <clears throat> we aren't welcome here. That's what we learned. And who might you be? Maroon's Razor, I think, is uh, is that just the name of the dungeon? Or is that actually some kind of Daedra prince or god or whatever? I do see some new stuff lying around like this. Must be new. A letter leading to nothing. And you can actually see that it's not like entirely new. I think it has been developed shortly after um, the game was released. Elven Arrow. Oh. Same damage rate as the other ones, but a little bit um, more value. Is it the Dwarven Ruin? Yeah, maybe. Now that I think of it, the name sounds a little bit Dwarven, and this guy looks a little bit Dwarven as well. Um, yeah. Could actually be. Shit. We're making too much noise. And I should not forget to equip my torch so you guys can see this better. Okay, if you don't open up. Oh, a voice beyond the door calls out. Who gathers storm clouds over Nern? I can only say nothing. That's it? small diary let's take it a diary I found contains a password to explore further and seems to indicate that some kind of army is amassing here led by somebody named Drothan oh you're the leader if I can find the journal in his cabin I may be able to learn more a cabin in here let's read it there are hostiles beyond the door though it's not like we can pass through and we're all friends, I think. Dear Diary, today I go to see my cousin. Mother said it was a blessed day, which I think means she's going to miss me. I'll miss her too. But I'm real excited to see cousin Drothan again. I promise right again real soon. Right. Dear Diary, I met a rider on the road today. He called himself a courier. He gave me a letter from cousin Drothan. It says I'll have a special job when I get to Citadel. I will be a steward. Cousin says stewards keep track of who comes and goes, but somebody will do most of that for me. And I just need to only let people in who know the secret word. That's a very big responsibility. It says I have to tear up his note. Cousin is very smart. I better write down the password so I don't forget it. It's Keimer. Dear Diary, today I saw a wood elf. Cool. Dear Diary, another courier found me today with another letter from Cousin. This letter said that he may not be around when I get there. Hmm. Um, cousin said his journal will tell me everything I need to know about finding him if he's not around. And I should find it in his cabin. Uh-oh, I'm no good at reading, only writing. Dear Diary, uh, you're not good at writing at all. I'm finally here before I use the special word to get in. I have something. I need to tell you, Diary. It's not personal. But diaries are kid stuff, and I have to be grown up here, so I'm leaving you behind right here. But thank you, diary, especially for keeping the special words safe. Good luck. That's it. All right. Heimer. Oh, immediately the one person comes out at least. A steward. Tunnel cuff? What the hell is a tunnel cuff? My sneak is being ingrained. He's actually quite tough, the steward. This ends here. Well, maybe. Just slashing away at him. 
All right, uh, let's immediately equip that torch so you guys can see a little bit better. I can hear some more people. The steward had a note. That's all I need for him. Okay, nobody else comes right now. Vesky, your job is to see that our arrivals and departures are well documented and that their wages are paid and keep an eye on my dear cousin. It is not to gossip with every new recruit about our far-reaching plans. We've already captured one assassin prowling the caves. The last thing we need is some spy of Kelseth. Helseth's hearing all our goals from you. Commander Adrethi will debrief the troops as necessary at his own discretion. On Turdas, I'm taking a detachment through the doorway with me. I don't know how long it'll be gone, but in the unlikely case that there is cause to disrupt my excursion, read the most recent entry in my journal. You'll find it in my cabin on the desk. Don't go in there for any other reason. Discretion above all. We don't want our Imperial enemies to know what our plans are. Death to the Empire. Archmage Frethen Drothen. Oh, they're planning something. They want to invade Cyrodiil? I wonder if, like, uh, chronologically you should play this after the events of Oblivion, because, uh, you know, the Emperor is already dead, and... Uh, does this have something to do with this? With the mythic dawn? I'm not sure like this is a thing you need to play after the main quest. We're doing it now. But that's it for now, people. Um, the next time we're going to unearth this Maroon's Razor. And um, we'll see how long this quest and dungeon will be. So stay tuned.